Hi everyone, welcome back. If you do not know, my name is Devin. Here on my channel, I cover all things beauty. That includes makeup, fragrance, and designing here and there. If you think that is something you'll be interested in, then I hope you stay and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you're notified every week when I upload. And in today's video, we are talking about a brand new fragrance from the house of Dolce & Gabbana. We are talking about the new Devotion in Tint, you guys. And I have a few thoughts. So if you guys are interested and want to hear my thoughts, then just keep watching. So you guys, I am trying to film a couple videos today because it's a little gloomy out. And you guys, we are expecting another hurricane here near Houston. I love Texas, but the hurricanes is insane. So hopefully it does not hit my area but pray for me send us prayers anyway because by the time this video goes up it should be about that time if it is going to hit us or not um hopefully it is not because last time we was out of power for like a lot of days so yeah don't want to go through that again but anyways that is not what we're here for we are here to talk about this brand new fragrance and my thoughts so um when i initially seen that this fragrance was launching I was kind of interested because um, the original Dolce & Gabbana um, Devotion was a big hit. It is a big hit with a lot of people. And I think I do have a review on that. So if I do have a review on the original, I'll have it linked down below as well. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the bottle and I'm going to show you the original bottle. And I am also going to talk a little bit and give you a comparison on these two as well as just, you know, talk about I actually it. prefer the new bottle. Um, the new bottle is darker, even though it's like the exact same layout of the bottle. The new bottle is darker and I actually like that. I've always enjoyed the packaging. Well, what I will say is I find that this automizer is a little, little bit more sharp than the original for some reason. And I don't know if it's just me needing to um, spray it a couple more times. Sorry if you hear their... Um, mowing the grass behind us this sprayer is a little bit more intense than the original i feel like the original dispersed product really really nicely but for some reason this one is having like some little oh now it dispersed nicely okay so never mind never mind it might have been just needing to get sprayed a few times um but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and talk about it i'm going to share with you what fragrantica says about it so uh, Fragrantica says that this is a vanilla, nutty, white, floral, sweet, woody, citrus, powdery, and soapy type fragrance. The top notes are hazelnut, middle notes of orange blossom, and base notes of vanilla. So it's very, very similar to the original, but the original actually has a top note of candied lemon, which most people like. It has middle notes of panna cotta and rum, orange blossom, and base notes of vanilla. So it has a little bit of a difference. So I do have a little tester strip, so I am going to spray it and I'm going to talk to you guys about it. I'm not going to spray this on my skin. Now, I have watched, I think, just one person's review. Was it one or two? I can't remember if it's one or two, but I know for sure I watched Oshimari, her review on this. Um, but I was kind of like going in and out, so I want to rewatch hers, but I want to say she said the opening on the two smell very similar now in my opinion they smell similar but there's definitely a difference like i don't personally get that distinct lemon note in here like i really feel like they took out that lemon in here i don't really get that lemon in here it's not listed in the notes to me the opening is a little bit more nutty it's still very sweet but it's definitely more nutty now what's crazy is I had pulled out my original um, devotion, right? I pulled it out and I sprayed it on my skin uh, the other day as well as a texture strip. And I was like, ugh. Like, I don't know what happened, but something about this original one is turning. It has a weird opening and I really feel like it did not smell like that when I first purchased it. It's like, a, it almost, it's almost having like a little bit of a chemically type of scent on opening. 
I don't know what it's it's really really weird because I know for a fact that I loved this fragrance when I first got it but I sprayed it on my skin as well as a tester strip and it was doing some weird stuff like it sat really really weird and almost like not quite penny like but you know what like a dirty penny smells like that coppery smell is something about that that is pulling this and i do not know why i don't know if it went bad it couldn't have went bad it's not that old it's probably within a year old i don't know if it's going bad i don't know if the atomizer needs to be cleaned because it's a little funky but it definitely had this really 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 weird smell and it stayed like that for a minute but happy to let you guys know that once it dried down it smelled a lot better but the opening of it like almost made me gag a little bit um the intense version i feel like they are super super similar right it's just i don't get a lemon note in here i get more of a sweet vanilla and nutty note in here but it's it's doing it for me you guys like it's giving something that i really really enjoy like the intense version also um it lasted a little bit longer than the original but the original to me actually last a really nice amount of time as well but this one you definitely can smell it i also spray both of them on my hand i let them sit for a little bit and i have my husband smell both of them side by side to see if he smelled the difference now he's not really a fragrance connoisseur so he can't pull out too many notes but he know a good woody or vanilla note so he can kind of detect those um but he was like he can't pinpoint the difference but there's definitely a difference and he enjoyed the intense version a lot more and if i'm being honest i'm enjoying the intense version a lot more as well for whatever reason when they dry down they have a little bit of a similarity because they are one and the same like they're definitely sisters um but i can detect the difference i just enjoy the intense version more like i love me a good lemon fragrance a lemon cakey fragrance but y'all something about the hazelnut in here it's so rich and nutty and sweet i also don't get that heavy white floral notes in the middle of this i still smell it like it still definitely has that devotion dna um but i smell the white floral a lot heavier in the original than the intense version as i'm smelling them side by side on the paper this one is still having that like coppery smell on here i do not know why i really feel like i'm curious does anybody have devotion is your smelling like that should i clean my atomizer like what is going on because i promise you it's it's like it almost makes me want to get rid of it it makes me want to get rid of it and just keep this one because although i'm heavy in some of my lemon scents do i need you know what i'm saying i don't know how many lemon scents i got but i will be doing a video on that sh uh, maybe sometime this month sometime this month early october one of those I just I like the intense version more. I really feel like there's not a lot to really say about it. I feel like if you enjoy the original, you probably will enjoy the intense version as well. It doesn't stray too, too far from it. But to me, I don't pick up any of that citrusy, lemony-ness as I do in the original. And I am totally okay with that. That's what makes them a little bit more different. And I feel like you can have both. Like you definitely can have both if you want both. But yeah, I feel like um, I can't speak on like super longevity. I've only worn it once or twice on my hands. I haven't worn it all over my body. But as of right now, the intense version is definitely winning over the original in my opinion, in my book. As of right now, Devotion Intense is a win for me and I highly recommend it. But I would recommend you getting your nose on it, seeing if it's worth it because fragrances are going up okay like they are going up in price and i know for a fact what i paid for this i don't think i paid for the original so 
yeah i do like this bottle it is really really pretty and i enjoy the scent and i cannot wait to be pulling her out for fall like right now transitioning into fall i think this would be a beautiful scent as well um so yeah let me know if you guys are interested in seeing some transitional fragrances like from summer to fall not just head on fall fragrances but transitional so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in another video bye